I'm Brian Jakes, and welcome to Red Wall. Matthias, Basil, and friends are now on the right track to rescue Matameo and the kidnapped young ones. As Matthias searches, Cornflower and the others try to solve the riddle that will lead them to their little folk. However, Slagar is a sly fox, so rescue may not be as easy as it seems. Watch today's episode with me and find out what happens. You're no kind of a restaurant at all if you don't have the mole's favours. Deeper never turnip and tater and beetroot pie, but were. I could greatly go with a bowl of that. Nobody understands moles. Oh, well then, how's about a, um, a meadow cream pasty with a garnish of hazelnut slices and a few elderberries around the edge? What are elderberries out of season? I'll have two portions and a large spoon. Oh, I can remember when I was a kid, I me and my cousin, one evening at the back of a cupboard, we found a tin of candied chestnuts and we didn't know what they were. And this tin had a key on the side that you push through and open. And we opened it and there were these little brown nuts and they'd been packed in heavy syrup and sugar and sealed and left there until it went right into the nuts. And this was my first taste of candied chestnuts. What a wonderful taste. And my name is... Basil Staghair, don't you know? And don't you forget it. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's something that goes in sausage that makes sausage taste like sausage and not meatloaf. It's sugar. Because in the Middle Ages, sugar was very expensive, we're going to use currants to make our sausage sweet. We'll put some of these pine nuts, and these are our spices. We're going to put a little bit of salt in it. And I want you to squish that around. Now, who else are we going to get to help? Wash your hands, and then we're going to... It's like beef bits, I mean, like pork bits. And then we're going to come and fry them over here because we don't want to eat these this way, right? Ooh, no. I don't think so. See something? Mm. Is that pretty, pretty good? good. Mm. These are good. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Who is the other one? He is a young rat named Vitch. I would describe Bitch like a bully and a person who just, like, tries to get back at people for what they did to him. Like, he wants revenge. Mom's spoiled, baby. Little Abby pet. What are you gonna do now, eh? <laughs> Bitch is a little rat. Not only in species, but in spirit. Bitch is the little spy, the puny rat, who's sent into Redwall to mix with the other creatures and spy on them and bring the information out to Slagar. There's nothing nice about Vich. Slagar, the slaver, did which of the following? A. Stole from Redwall Abbey. B. Killed Methuselah. C. Held a grudge against Matthias. Or D. All of the above. And the answer is D. All of the above. If you could meet one character from this story, who would you meet and why? I suppose if I could meet one, just one character, I think it would have to be one of the great badger lords, one of the great warriors. Well, suppose, for instance, uh, the one from Mossflower, Bore the Fighter, because I'd just like to see one of those great warlords, one of those badgers, and speak to him and see actually how big he was and how strong he was and how noble he was. Because Bo was noble because he sacrificed his life so Martin and his friends could escape. I think I'd like to meet Bo, yeah. But not on a dark night.